Good morning, I'm Earth Dr. Reese Halter, and you're listening to Earthcast, SOS.com. My colleagues at the Bureau of Meteorology in Australia say last month, June, was the hottest in modern history. That's 14 consecutive months of global heat records shattered, going back 137 years of continuous record-keeping. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, has also found that the global temperature for the first six months of 2016 was the hottest ever recorded. Global warming is accelerating. The occurrence of spikes in heat are the most pronounced that we've ever seen. 14 of the 15 heat spikes have occurred since February 2015. This is a runaway climate in crisis. The planet's average land temperature in June was 1.24 degrees C higher than the 20th century monthly average. The land temperature also hit a record high for the first six months of 2016. It's the hottest January to June ever recorded. This comes on the heels of dreadful Arctic news. Over the past couple of decades, we're missing an area approximately two times the size of Alaska in sea ice area. The lowest northern hemisphere snow cover ever recorded this spring. Alberta's raging tar sands spring firestorm. California, 26 million dead trees in eight months. Epic drought and heat. A record amount of subarctic methane, which is 100 times stronger at trapping heat than carbon dioxide for the first couple of decades, leaking from thawing northern soils. 50% of the northern Great Barrier Reef site sampled dead from the worst bleaching ever recorded from an overheated Pacific Ocean. Death of a vast area along 1,200 miles of West Australia's Indian Ocean kelp forests from a 2011 marine heat wave 2.5 degrees C above long-term maximum averages and 22,000 acres of Northern Territory and Queensland mangroves along the Gulf of Carpentaria from a prolonged drought, unprecedented in area. Australia's nature-killing Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull just appointed another coal-loving environment minister, Josh Fryenberg, to heat up the planet further and destroy nature. Here in America, Stumpy Trump and his sideshow, Mike Go Kill Deer Behind a Pence, have no intention of future proofing America whatsoever. In fact, they intend on unsigning the Paris Climate Agreement and burning more subsidized climate altering coal and fracking. What the F? In November, vote Hillary in and end this reality TV crap and the destruction of nature because all signs are pointing to collapse. If nature collapses, we die. Not gonna happen on my watch. Hashtag save nature now. Hashtag love nature. Hashtag love is the solution. Earthcast SOS depends upon you, the listeners. So don't be shy. Come on to drreese.com. D-R-R-E-E-S-E.com. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click on that donate button. And pick yourself up any number of terrific books on bees, trees, seas, wild weather, Or life, the wonder of it all. Just do it. DrReese.com. I'm Earth Doctor, Reese Halter, reminding you to protect our planets.